So that didn't last long. Last year, when the Virgin Hotel and Casino Las Vegas finally opened its doors to sunny Las Vegas in March, Richard Branson made us a promise. Branson promised a no nickel and diming policy at his property, meaning that there wouldn't be any extra or hidden fees. But now, starting January 19th of 2022, resort fees are coming to the Virgin Hotel Las Vegas. Let's talk about how this affects your vacation and if the site of the former Hard Rock Hotel can handle this change. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Hey, it's Renison Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So today we're checking out a Casino.org article that I just pulled up. Shout out to our boy Scott from Vital Vegas for bringing the story together for us so we can check out the newer information coming down, but let's have a look at it. Just so you're aware, Virgin Las Vegas is one of the newest hotel properties in Las Vegas and the newest off-strip property in the city. It's located on the site of the old Hard Rock Hotel, and the property is run in a joint venture between Richard Branson's own Virgin Hotels and the Mohegan Sun Casino. So if you didn't know, Virgin just announced a new $45 plus tax resort fee for their Las Vegas property, breaking the promise that the company made just under a year ago not to have any resort or parking fees on property. The no nickel and diming policy was a major selling point to the resort, despite the pricing being roughly equivalent to higher end or comparable resorts on the strip, even when factoring in their resort fees. Now, now, while that may not be a vacation ender individually, since resort fees are pretty common amongst even the best and worst hotels in Las Vegas, this might be a choice that hurts Virgin tremendously. Now without any official numbers in front of me, the best I can judge the reception to the Virgin Las Vegas has been lukewarm. That's purely based on pictures, press, and general live streams. It looks like the property hasn't been too terribly popular. And that's especially compared to a couple other properties that recently opened up in the general area, like Circa and Resorts World. But why is that? Well, I'm not an analyst, but I do have a couple of theories, and I'd love to present them to you right here, right now. So theory number one is the location is pretty awful. So the Virgin Las Vegas is located just off the strip where the Hard Rock used to be. And it's a solid 10 minute walk over to the rest of the strip over there. Within of itself, that's not really such a big deal. A lot of properties in a lot of tourist destinations aren't necessarily on top of said tourist destination. But when you're dealing with a tourist center like Las Vegas in such a hyper-competitive environment, location starts meaning a whole lot more. For example, why go off strip to experience Las Vegas when you could, well, just stay on the strip, or better yet, on Fremont Street, and have all the atmosphere, action, and excitement of Las Vegas delivered straight to your hotel door? Additionally, in the more extreme periods of time, like the summertime or the wintertime, that 10 minutes can get a little harsher when the sun's beating down on you or the cold wind is whipping around. And frankly, when you want to maximize your 3-5 to five days in Las Vegas, you want to minimize your travel time and maximize your enjoyment time. So if you're constantly having to add another 10, 15, 20 minutes of travel time, just to get to something that you want to do that just so happens not to be at your hotel property, I can see how it becomes a problem. Another factor to consider was, well, frankly, a pretty lackluster opening. I personally didn't go to the Virgin opening, and with good reason. There just didn't seem to be much to do. Despite the hustle and bustle of the opening, a lot of the hotel's central features weren't quite ready yet, the pool being principal among them. Vegas is well known as a pool party hotspot, and opening an off-strip casino resort without a pool to hang out at during the day can't have won them any additional fans, the least of which being me. And finally, I think the biggest hindrance has always really been the pricing of Virgin. Let me explain. Now, we've previously compared Virgin and other competing hotel properties like Resorts World and Circa, and historically, Virgin hasn't done very well. I recently did a recheck on these prices, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed. It looks like Virgin's made some strides compared to most Las Vegas Strip hotels, like Aria for example. It's looking a lot more competitive. Even factoring in the resort fee, Virgin's finally looking a bit cheaper, and this actually might be the silver lining to the fact that they're charging resort fees, that their base rooms are much cheaper now, and that might actually give them the edge in the long run. So hey, perhaps that might be the sign of good things to come after all. 
But those are just theories, and you know what they say about theories and plans. Everyone's got one until they get punched in the face. Now, I'm hoping Virgin doesn't fall by the wayside because of this flip-flop in monetary policies. But on the other hand, because this happened, it is a slippery slope, and if Virgin has changed their mantra on fees and finances, there could be more changes coming our way in the coming months, and they may not all be consumer-friendly. All right, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's editorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a quick moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. But what do you guys think? Is Virgin making a tremendous mistake in forcing resort fees on its few visitors? Or might they be onto something by making their pricing more competitive despite the fees? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva.